they clung to his every word and made him the biggest rock star France has ever had. During a career spanning half a century, he sold more than 110 million records and sold out 180 tours. Johnny Halliday never broke America or topped the charts here, but in France, he was revered. Fans wept outside his home west of Paris on the news of his death after battling lung cancer, while their president, Emmanuel Macron, paid tribute, calling Halliday a French hero. What's hard, he says, is not just knowing that he's gone, but understanding he was not invincible. Halliday began his career doing adaptations of rock and roll classics. He was dubbed the French Elvis, the darling of France's baby boomers. This is your favourite? Yes. The French ambassador to the UK, with Halliday dominating his playlist, was one of those die-hard fans. The rupture between the 60s and before the 60s, he was Johnny in French and the Beatles in the UK. So it symbolized a kind of revolution. With Johnny Halliday, you see each step of your own life. <laughs> A balladeer, country singer, rocker, he changed his music style over the years, but France never tired of him. It's estimated 28 million people, the equivalent of over a third of the country's population, saw him live. His music filling football grounds. On vous met le feu. On vous met le feu. Alors, it all had a purpose. This song was used for French football. When they were playing football, it was like to put the, the fans all together. When I say it's a huge loss, I, I'm just, I think I'm not close to the reality of it. In France, it mattered little that Johnny Halliday was not an international star. Merci. He was theirs, and tonight, they are mourning one of their most loved icons.